Ryan, your DIY guy, and if you're new to the channel, welcome. Go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our exciting DIY content that we've got going on. Now, if you are a regular, thanks so much for the support and welcome back. On our last video, you would have seen we did a pergola build from start to finish, from step by step instructions and all the necessary tools that you needed. But today, I've got a super exciting time lapse of another pergola build so that you can enjoy it while you're chomping on your popcorn. So sit tight and enjoy the show. We kick off all good projects with the preparation work because preparation is key. If you fail to prepare, you are preparing to fail. And we start off by measuring out the site using some string and these pegs. These are some camping pegs which I found and this was a different method that I decided to use. In our previous video, you would have seen that we used a few wooden stringers, but this worked just as well and was much easier to place so this is the site as you can see we have existing pavers that uh, the homeowner laid down themselves and we just planned around the area for the pergola structure to go in now obviously we measured from each corner to ensure square and then continued with the preparation for the poles that'll go up these are 90 millimeter by 90 millimeter posts they are treated timber they look absolutely gorgeous we're just shaving off about 10 centimeters or 100 millimeters of the bottoms which will fit into the metal holders which you'll see coming up and that was just done using a circular saw which made light work of a very dirty process and here you can see the metal posts these are 50 centimeters or 500 millimeters in length which will go deep into the ground and ensure a stable footing for each of the posts so we trimmed roughly about two to three millimeters off of each of the posts and then simply slotted them into the metal holders and secured them with a couple of screws which then obviously was surrounded by concrete in the end to ensure a permanent bond that'll go nowhere and keep your post straight and good for a long long time to come next up we ensured each post was vertically plumb so that is both left and right and back and forward as you can see with the spirit level along each side we stake them into the ground with a piece of wood that went on each side just to ensure that it doesn't move while we you know filling the holes with concrete and that just ensured a very strong footing in the end Here's another view of the vertical posts that have gone in and you can see they are true and plumb against the wall as a reference. We dug up a bunch of that beautiful red South African soil which will be replaced with concrete soon. And this is growing from the ground up so it's very very important to get the basics right. But as promised here is that time lapse so sit back and enjoy the show.
and just like that the pergola is done and it came out absolutely stunning i'm sure you'll agree now we started from the ground up building a solid foundation for each of the timber posts to be secured to we kept it off with the lattice structure on top and secured everything together with bolts and bracketry if you missed any of the tools or materials we used catch that in the description box below now we finished off the pergola in a black timber preservative called creosote and some people even thought this was a metal structure well if you enjoyed this video please smash that like button right now because it helps us grow the channel tremendously make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our other content and please go ahead and comment down below if this video helped you in any way or share it with someone who it may help thank you so much for watching and taking out the time we thoroughly enjoyed it sharing this experience with you and we hope to see you on the next video coming up very soon on nail and screw